the monitor and identify this person. I don't know it. Now, Viva, just like how the post states, look at the monitor and identify this person or look at the image. As a Jamaican, who does this image remind you of? Any politician in particular? Let me know in the comment section. But look how them people are trying to get me in a problem. Uh, who edit it and put Andrew Wellness for pop up? Ah, Jesus God. Really? Do you know what you're asking? Now, people, you see, just because the person that edit the video try to get me in a problem, let me move on and ask you a next question. Now, people, look at this video where you can see that a woman going to a store and she actually have one knife. I cut the people them cassava. Which nationality you know would do this? Tell me in the comment section which nationality would do something like this. Let me have a video, yo. You really carry a knife coming at people in the supermarket and cut in cassava? Jesus Christ, man. Mummy. Mummy, they have camera watching. Now, people, of course, all the Jamaicans, all the Jamaicans are going to do something like that. Going at the people them store and I cut them cassava with knife. I test which one of them them feel like are the better buy. <laughs> I swear, I am so proud to be Jamaican. Now, people, speaking about being Jamaican, except for the uptown communities, we are talking about the rest of Jamaica. You have in your community, you have, you have the junkin set of people them. You have the people them who go to church. You have the eyeglass them who depend on the sidewalk. And for every community, them have one of these type of women. Allow me to tell. Talk to me in the comment section. Stop taking the rope on your dead hood. When you have a fucking black girl. And that you have to talk for. And tell your cocky if you go repent and get power and strength. You fuck pussy. Your blood clot, yo. If you don't have a female like this, not to mention the mix of set of people them. If you don't have a female or a male like this in your community, we are going to chip some cloud upon the road and tell people about them parts. <laughs> Trust me, you are definitely uptown or you are not in Jamaica. If you have a woman like this in your community, say that's all truth. I have one of these persons living in my community right now. <laughs> You know what people want to get too much trouble. What is up? Welcome to the Truth family. Hope each and every one of you is having a blessed and productive day. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and make we keep the video off like this. Now, people, check this out. Yesterday, we officially learned that the Director of Public Prosecution, Paula Llewellyn, the DPP, directly released a statement stating that she wants a retrial of Vibes Cartel and is co-accused. Now, people, the $1 billion question is, if it's said to be that Vibes Cartel was, you know, a bad influence onto society and the system wanted Vibes Cartel incarcerated this is the same system that has the fate of vibes cartel let me ask you this question since it's the same system one for sync vibes cartel one for keep vibes cartel behind bars because of its influence onto society if there should be a retrial what would be the end result because vibes cartel basically are the same system i got deciding fate if there should be a retrial Either Vibes Cartel get the same life imprisonment or him get a reduced sentence or Vibes Cartel could have beat the case. Now people, as I said, the million dollar question is you are faced with the same decision from day one. If there should be a retrial, the same government system where you said don't like Vibes Cartel at them same one are going to have the decision to make at the end of the day. Now, people, what do you think would be the end result if there should be a retrial? This is some... I don't know, people. Share your thoughts in the comment section. People may ask why I don't like Vibes Cartel. And I don't dislike Vibes Cartel because of the many problems that he gave police personnel in Gregory Park and Waterford. No. I dislike Cartel for two reasons. One, he boxed Ninja Man. 
how can you hit your senior? You can't do that. And two, he dishonor God. He dishonor God in such a way that he says there is no God. And on those two premises, I have nothing to do with cartel. But everybody deserves a second chance. God is faithful. God is forgiving. Few weeks before World Boss was arrested, he was on a rampage declaring his supreme power and his lack of regard for God. And he and his followers would ray and sing song and torment God and abuse God and disrespect God. I remember I was a probation officer then and we normally have devotion every Monday morning. And the pastor, one of our pastors, he was in charge of the devotion that morning. And he was so angry when he came in and saying that cartel don't have any respect for God. And we're going to pray that God will bring him down and we pray against his ministry. And one week after he was arrested and the rest is history. So you don't play with God cartel spit in God's face and God box him down and one week before I dreamt that he is still a guest of the government and I told my children that the prophet get another vision that cartel will not come out and they said mommy what you mean and I said no he will remain right where he is so you don't play with God God is God and he's God all by himself and God will embarrass you and God will disgrace you because God is not sharing his glory with anybody. So I heard that cartel is reading his Bible and God regard that none should perish but that all of us should have everlasting life. So you better repent. Mr. Adija, you better repent because God will not share his glory and God is not mock. One love. Now, people, with a lot of persons on social media sharing their opinion on Vibes Cartel case. Of course, Vibes Cartel is a high-profile case. Vibes Cartel is a dancehall legend with millions of fans, not only in Jamaica, but across the world. This lady is stating that the reason she doesn't like Vibes Cartel is because Vibes Cartel spit on the name of God. That is the reason why them fast and pray say vibes cartel. God threw him a sign if you slow him down. Now people, do share your thoughts in the comment section because there are a lot of religious persons giving their opinion on vibes cartel. You know the whole case and sharing their opinion just like this next lady. Kingdom greetings people of God. Hear the word of the Lord. Vibes cartel also known as Abiza Palmer. So yesterday night I got a vision where Vice Cartel was sitting in a courtroom in front of the Lord. The Lord was getting ready to judge him. Last night, the Lord gave me another word concerning him. Vice Cartel, thus say the Lord, it is done. It is final. He has given you a second chance, and he will get his glory through you. He will be inspiring you to write much more songs. And when he restore you, and you climb back at the top, do not forget him. Let his name be glorified through your life. God bless. So people, you see exactly how it go. You have this lady who states that she fast and prayer. And she's saying that Vibes Cartel will not come out of prison. Then there is this next religious lady stating that Vibes Cartel will come out because she got a vision from God and Vibes Cartel will get hits in dance hall again and Vibes Cartel will rise to the top again. But she's asking for Vibes Cartel to preach the word of God. So people... Both of them are pray to God, you know. One of pray say Vibes Cartel don't come out of prison and Vibes Cartel remains behind bar. And the next one is stating that she sees a vision that Vibes Cartel will be freed. I don't know what's going on here, you know, people. But do share your thoughts in the comment section. Mixed feelings, mixed reaction. Everyone has their opinion. Just like Futa Hype. Futa Hype has an opinion. Take a look at this. Telling the all time so no understand the words. It was a mind game them play upon the boss. The Privy Council had the option of saying, strike on this case. This case is bullshit. 
Send the man I'm here. Why them never do it? Because you want to jump on and celebrate and over excited and you don't understand. Them play a wicked mind game for the man. Why is it back in the hands of the people that him are run from to decide whether I'm getting a reach or not? You don't remember when him liar Isaac Buchanan said he does not want a retrial. Uno only listen bits and pieces. Uno say on a cartel fans and uno not pay attention. Isaac Buchanan clearly said in the media said him don't want a retrial. So why would the judicial system, the, the privy council, put it back in the hand of the people and when me come bring it to you, say them not nah, deal with me good, they not nah, give me the justice, and you leave yourself as a boat and put it back right in at the same people them and when two weeks ago or so cartel put out a song, say Paula la Lewin figure suck a dick or whatever vice note, what you think say you put in that back in a feed them and Oh, that makes sense. Paul Halloween worked for the Crown. Andrew Wallace worked for the Crown. UK Privy Council worked for the Crown. Them a team mate. Them a team member. Them a team member. No, let him out is a possibility. You can't say nothing wrong with that is a possibility. But I'm saying I'm not talking about the possibility of him coming out. That is based on the sympathy of the same people that where the man I try to run from. Oh, you have to place my faith in the hands of the same people that where me I protest to you say, they want to kill me. Why the privy council never just free the man? Who do not get it? Why they never just knock the arm and say, send home the man? All Gaza people are celebrate the man free. Where is Cartel? Cartel not over Portmore? Cartel is not over Portmore now? Cartel not up, up and now broke up in house. Cartel not hook up in pitting them right now. Cartel not should be moving a girl right now and feel nice and say, yeah, but they are road. So you don't understand, you don't say free, but he is literally not free because it up to parallel in them and the, the judicial system of Jamaica again to decide if he may go free or go retrial. Only they know say. Because some people get excited sometimes and they don't understand. Did you know that a retrial can actually get cartel a worse sentence? Only did you know that? Only did you know say a retrial can actually make some people who never get lock up get lock up? Only did you know say, say a retrial can make evidence where they might have in a them thing where them not use um come forward. Now people check this out, I came across this video on Instagram, this particular video where a police officer actually slapped a man across him face. I don't know what transpired before that, but the video is very short, the police slapped the man across him face. The man get a hard box, loud, till it's a echo. And people, of course, the man I go react and the man I go wall him face. People, as I stated, I did not know what transpired before that. Then the police proceeded to take out him firearm. People, after a while, the police just put in him firearm and then him walk off. Now, people, the question is that, you know, I really want to ask is, if the man did not offend the police in any way, the man didn't do il anything illegal, probably him offend the police, you know, but not in a legal way. The police use force just to slap the man in the face. That means the police could have boxed me down or boxed you down just because we don't have authority because... If the man had done something where him could have arrested the man, he would have arrested the man. But him not arrest the man, him back out him firearm and then him just walk off. The man not arrest the man, him not say nothing. So that means the police can, you know, basically abuse their authority because just the fact that him not arrest the man, you know. That means that the man wasn't be behaving in any manner or anything like that. Well, I am just, you know. 
I mean, a police can just slap your box just because they probably disagree with something with him say and then him back out him for him because him angry. But just because he's a police officer, him can get away with it. Well, people, that is just what the video would basically show. So I don't know. Share your thoughts in the comment section. You know, I can't really show the video like that on YouTube because of the content of the video. But people, come on, man. Police officers, stop abusing the authority. If a man forget arrest, arrest him. I mean, like, man a big man. <laughs> Cha -cha. Police are print out them five finger cross the face. What would you have done next? And people make we jump on the dancehall scene. There is a video circulating the internet of dancehall artist Raja Wildlife. The man literally run out on a stage show. You know, as usual, with him bag of powder, obia powder, and kuzu powder. But this time, the man make a bad step and flick off for the stage completely. Now, people, of course, I cannot show you the video on YouTube because, as I said, people, the man drop off for the stage. And you know, so YouTube, now few deal with certain type of content. Anyhow, people, I think that gotta show you my sign now. Raja, leave out the guzu, leave out the obia, dash for the powder, praise the most high. And everything will alright, but I don't think the entertainer hurt himself in any way or form. Now, people, and next thing that is trending on social media, Spice was asked a specific question and she gave an interesting answer. People, take a listen to this or take a look at this. Do you have your nipples pierced? My clit. Now, people, I was more expecting this from Shensia, not Spice. Spice is saying that she has a piercing right there on her private area. Spice. That is not like Spice. But you don't know Spice or Spice of the thing. Uh, you know what, people? Mo moving, right, moving right along. Canada is proposing a new bill to make Christianity illegal as well as punishing Christians with jail time for their faith. A Canadian member of parliament by the name of Yves Francois Blanchet has proposed a bill called Bill C-367. Now for the people that will live in Canada, I want to come here for a minute. Anything go like this? Is there any truth to this? They are planning to make Christianity illegal in Canada? No man. The world really has come to an end. May Christian you can be prosecuted for this. They are planning to do it, you know. Like I said, there is a particular politician that is working on a bill to actually get it passed to make Christianity illegal. Mighty God. Jesus. For all the persons in Canada, let me ask you this question though. If you are living in Canada and Christianity is illegal, if you are a Christian, will you still be living in Canada? Let me know in the comment section. This is interesting, crazy, mud. You know what, people? Let me leave off of this topic. As a matter of fact, you know, people, let me just leave you with this video. I'm, I'm, I've seen it all. I'm out. Catch you in the next review we need to discuss what did jesus put in the air when he created jamaica is there cocaine in the plants but when i saw women coming here to pay men to touch them then going back to america and charging men to touch them jamaica is the only place in the world women are paying men to rub on them americans leave america just to feel good breathing the air in jamaica it's like the stress lifts up off your shoulders and you are happy you are free and everyone feels good i could be poor in jamaica and be happy and the people in jamaica they're happier than the rich people that i see in miami and they be poor they be on the side of the road not eating all day and happy you can't do that in america you don't understand the beauty in being able to make a joke out of serious situations because nobody else does that I see Americans in Miami shopping and they're sad and you're in Jamaica in poverty and you're happy and it's only being done in Jamaica what what is in the air I need to know